confidence at the same time. No. Fear will make you to become hopeless. All that is because you are not anchored in the Lord. That's where the problem is. You are not anchored in the Lord. How many times did the Lord Jesus Christ tell his disciples, fear not, be of good courage, fear not, be courageous, fear not. He knows when fear has crept you, you cannot succeed. You've got to be delivered of fear before you can succeed. Fear will make you sleep longer hours than short. Are you, are you listening? Hello? Am I talking to someone here? It's fear. That's why the Lord is calling you. He says, come unto me. O ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. The rest that the Lord is promising, it is genuine rest. Not fake rest. Not fake confidence. Not fake peace. There's, there's a lot of fake peace in the world. Fake peace of dressing. Because I'm dressing suit now, I've got peace. It's not true. You can wear your clothes, but inside, you're finished. You see the way people talk, but you, because you've got the Spirit of God in you, you can know that this one, though he's talking like this, there's no truth. Full of fear. And there's got no foundation, this one. Those who have got foundation, they know what they are saying. They know where they are at. They know where they are going. They know where they belong. Find out from your neighbor. Do you know where you belong? Even after this life, temporal life, do you know where you are going? After this life, do you know what God has said about you are going to do? After this life. You cannot afford to be careless to miss God. You are educated enough to know that there is no peace the whole entire world. None. I tell you the truth here as a man of God speaking to you. The peace in the world will not improve. This what is happening will get worse. So that means each one should have individual peace from God to live comfortably here on earth. But this what you are hearing will get worse. That's Bible. That's why the owner of heaven said, for the sake of the elect, you will cut the days short that he may come. Otherwise, he may not find faith on the face of the earth. Even you will be swept. Now, because he loves you, he will come quicker before you are swept. So hold on now to God. It's not time to turn your back. I'm talking about those that have been holding on there. Your time of breakthrough is around the corner. Your time for you to rest is around the corner. I'm talking to those that have been holding on, who've been saying, Lord, how long? Yes. This is the season. This is the time. Like I told you, there are no crushers in the kingdom of God. How about those who want to enter today? Time of testing is coming. They should not just join us who are celebrating. They go to start also where they go to start. That's why salvation is personal. You ought to know you yourself where you are with the Lord. In conclusion, you are what you are because of what you believe. You are what you are because of what you believe. If you believe God, it will show. 
if you don't believe God, it will also show. Even as we go outside now, you hear what will come out of your mouth. When you buy toothpaste, when you squeeze it, it's not cooking oil coming out. It is toothpaste. When you squeeze toothpaste, it's not milk coming out. It is what? Toothpaste. Even you, when you are squeezed, what comes out of you? Ask your neighbor. When you are empty of God, there is no way that you speak words of God. You are empty. You speak the earth. When you are squeezed, you are empty. What is in you that's what will come out? You are empty. There's nothing you can do about it. You are empty. When you are full of God, whatever can, squeezed, when you are squeezed, what will come out of you is the word of God. What is possible for me as an individual depends on my capacity to believe God. What is possible for me as an individual depends on my capacity to believe God. My capacity to believe God. That's why what is possible for me may not be possible for you because of your capacity to believe God. You may be believing man rather than God. While me, I look through man to see God. I totally depend upon God for everything. Understand by him in all circumstances whether good or bad. I totally depend on him for everything. Understand by him in all circumstances. Whether bad circumstance or good circumstance, to God is the same. In the bad, it will make good. So I cannot deny God because I see as if it's a bad situation, I run away. No. I'll stand by him. I'll stand by him. Whatever situation I'm in, I stand by God. And I totally depend on him. That way, you can be protected from having gifts from occultic money. <laughs> that way, you can be protected from receiving gifts bought by occultic money. Because those also have got effect in your life. I don't know where you are. But God knows. And two, you cannot lie to God. You cannot lie to God. You can lie to everyone else, but you cannot lie to God. Even to others, even if you lie to them, they know the truth. They don't just want to argue with you because there's no need. You yourself, you know. I'll ask you a question in closing. What if now, I don't know by what, but you, you are told six, uh, 18 hours today, people are going to kill you, and it is certain. That's unchangeable. It is certain. 18 hours today, people are going to kill you today. Where are you going to run to? 
Find out from your neighbor. Are you going to run to the bank or to the church? Are you find out from your neighbor? <laughs> Discuss it. Huh? <laughs> They said they are coming to your house. So, are you going to run to the bank or to the church? Why church? Can you see? Why not run to your contact? When death comes, there is nothing that the, your contact can do. Tell you never. There's nothing that whoever you think can help you when it comes to death. It is Jesus and Jesus alone. That you should keep always. That's why it is risky to run away from Jesus. Because you may not return to him. If you return to him, you may be lukewarm your heart may be called towards him, which is also very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Your heart is not on fire for Jesus. You are just coming here as an insurance policy, Jesus, so that when I die, I won't go to fire. He wants you to live the way he has designed you to live, Jesus. So that through your life, God will be glorified. Through your lifestyle, God will be glorified. Others will say, that's a child of God, truly. Thank you. I don't know where you are. But God knows. You are nearer now to arriving where you are going than where you are coming from. Do you know what will happen when you arrive? Are you certain? There, there are no groups. It's you. That's why death collects each one of us individual by individual. And when you go, there's no return. Like I told you, don't use the name Jesus Christ like a charm. Don't use the name Jesus Christ as an incantation. Jesus Christ is a human being. Okay, people, please stand up, except the pastor. Pastor, sit, sit. Come this way. These are people here. You can see them. Uh, can you see the? Can you see them? Huh? Are you sure? You can see them. So me. The name I'll call the name. I'll call the owner of the name, and the owner will come. Jesus. Even this one now, now, that's a power, contrary power in her. They have met with Jesus of light. That's why she's behaving like that. Something has been provoked in her. Now, this is the name you call. 